Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna to cook up some chorizo. Green chorizo. Verde. Chorizo verde. We're still in Mexico, so I saw this on the shelf. This is a Mexican chorizo. It is uncooked. I got it in the meat case. And it is a casing sausage. So it is sausage meat that has been stuffed into a casing. So we're gonna cook it a few different ways. And you can use these cooking methods for any kind of sausage in a casing or you can take it out of a case. But why is this green? You know, this looks like the perfect St. Patty's Day food, but it isn't a special green for St. Patrick's Day. This is a uh, chorizo verde, so it's green because they've, uh, they've mixed up the sausage uh, with a lot of cilantro and uh, peppers, which you could do. I mean, you could, you could take your own sausage and then you could make a mixture of cilantro and uh, peppers and uh, grind it up and turn it into this like a green smoothie and then mix it with sausage meat and then you will have this semi freaky looking sausage to cook with. I wonder if you could do this with hamburger. Nobody wants a green hamburger. When you have sausage in a casing, the casing is edible. This is generally made of a animal product or a vegetable product or some sort of NASA scientist astronaut <laughs> type product, you know, that to shoot it into space and eat it on the moon. But this is edible. So we're going to cook our sausage in the casing three different ways. The first one, boom, we take it and we're going to throw it on a piece of tin foil on a baking sheet and we're going to slide it in the oven. No oil because the no sausage oil. has plenty of yeah, oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some oil is going to come out of the sausage. Although this, this chorizo verde isn't as fatty as a lot of other sausages I cooked because they got a lot of produce in here. They have so much cilantro, they have so much green veggie stuff in here that it is green. But anyway, this is what I got my oven on. So you want to set your oven on four, what? between three and four. What does that mean? I don't know. We're in Mexico. It's one through five. And a lot of times ovens, you know, they, they'll go up to like 500. So I assume each one of these is like 100. So I'm going to put it between three and four. And now we got it roasting away. So we'll forget about that. So let me get going on the second way we're going to cook some sausage. Let me start my back burner here. So boom. I'm going to put about a quarter inch of water in here and set it on this back burner. We'll cover this up and I'll bring this water to a boil. And let me get my skillet going on here and we'll cook this a different way. Because you don't have to cook the sausage in the casing here. Like if you buy sausage like this here, you know you can throw it on the grill, you can throw it in the oven, you can sort of steam it and cook it in a pot. But you can also take the casing off and use the sausage inside any which way you like. So we'll just take a pair of scissors, give the casing a cut, and it'll peel right off. And it's not sticking on here too bad. Is that focusing on the camera girl? Mm-hmm. So we just peel this casing right off, and now we've just got our sausage. So this is just ground sausage outside of the casing, and you could form it into patties and cook it. You could do whatever you like, but we're just going to go ahead and crumble it up and cook it in the skillet. Had to be ready to eat faster. Yes, this is the fastest way to cook it. And normally I would saute up some onions and garlic and stuff. I'm just going to saute this up, cook it up, and then use it later in a different dish. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of green chorizo or sausage in U.S. grocery stores. And when you see chorizo, a lot of times, you know, it'll be in the meat case, you know, you'll see chorizo, and it's raw sausage that needs to be cooked. But sometimes you'll see chorizo that's been dried, like in the deli case or over with the pepperonis and stuff like that. And that's already cooked in dried chorizo. And that's kind of Spanish chorizo, and this is like Mexican chorizo, the kind you gotta cook up. Oh, it already smells so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sausage always smells fantastic. Is the water boiling? Let me check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, our water is boiling. All right, so what we're going to take here with this sausage encasing is we're just going to lay it in our skillet here. And for cooking it like this here, a lot of times, like I said, I would just do it in a skillet like this here. But you want to have something that you can cover up. That way it kind of steams it. Now you don't have to add oil or anything when you're cooking this kind of sausage because it'll have a lot of fat in it. Although this chorizo verde doesn't have as much fat as a lot of sausages that I've cooked. Now a lot of times when I'm cooking a sausage or some kind of really fatty meat or a hamburger, 
you know, when it starts to pop because it has a lot of grease in it, you can just push it off to one side and you can take like a paper towel and just kind of mop up some of the grease. Yeah, smart. And just toss that aside. But I like to do that, you know, once, once the grease starts popping a lot. But then sometimes you don't want to do that because sometimes that grease is flavor. So you got to make sure you don't rob yourself of all the flavor. You just don't want to dry it out. Overcook it. Alrighty, well let's check on our oven sausage here. It is crackling away. Boom, boom, boom. And you can use this same trick here uh, with a paper towel to soak up the grease. You know, any grease uh, cooking anywhere. You know, in this way there's going to be less spatter in my oven and it's not going to create such a mess. It's starting to to brown a little bit on that side, so I'll go ahead and turn it over and we'll throw it back in the oven. Let it continue to cook away. So we will let our sausage roast away in the oven and we will let it continue to steam away in our pot. And all this water is going to get, you know, we're going to get rid of all this water and then brown it on the bottom of the pot. But that's a ways away. And I will continue to stir our ground sausage in the skillet. And we will return in the future when things have reached sausage perfection. Woo! Beep, 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 beep. All right, we moved our pan so we could get some better light, but I still don't think you're gonna be able to tell. I mean, we've cooked this uh, quite a while. Green sausage doesn't color up the way regular sausage would. But you've got some brown pieces. Yeah, 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 some of it's browned up, but it is definitely done. So I'll turn the heat off of there. Cook an egg and throw it on top of there. You could serve this any way you like. Put it in a taco. Anything you could do with sausage. You can do with a greasel bird or day. It could be a pizza topping. Let's check on our oven sausage. Boom, boom, boom. Sizzling and bubbling away. And I'll go ahead and get some more of this grease out of here. Cause we are at an Airbnb and I don't want to make a huge mess in the oven. We'll give it a little bit of a turn. And we'll throw it back in, so we'll get some color on there. Boom, and let's check our steaming sausage here. And it's been going for quite a while. So I'll pour some of this liquid off of here, because we don't want it to steam the entire time that it's in the pot. Because I definitely want to get some color on here. So we'll put it back on the burner. We'll just let it cook away here for a little while uh, without any liquid in here. And I will just give these a turn every few minutes until I get some nice color and crispness on these casings. All righty. So I've been turning this around a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. That's enough color on there. The thing with Riso Verde is it's, it's hard to tell when it's done because it doesn't look the same as what I'm used to uh, cooking regular sausage. But here's the ones out of my pot. You can see there's not much of a difference between the two. So that's uh, two different ways that you can cook uh, sausage in the casing, or you can just take it out of the casing and use it just like regular ground sausage. But it's not hot. You know, a lot of people think of uh, chorizo as hot, and we've had some chorizos that have been devilishly hot. But sometimes chorizo, you know, isn't overly spicy at all. It just means it has a lot of flavor in it just means a lot of spices have been added to it, but it's not always super duper hot spices. That's the one from the oven. Yes, but they're going to be the same. There's not really going to be any difference. You wouldn't know if you were just, you know, if it was a blind taste test, you wouldn't know which one was cooked on the stove top. This casing is good. It's got a nice little crispiness to it. Sometimes you'll get sausage and the casing will be overly chewy. You know, and you can just peel it off. You don't have to eat that with the casing. Uh, is edible. You know, you just want to make sure to cook it up right. So that's all there is to cooking sausage. It still looks like a pickle when it's green. Mm -hmm. And it tastes like it a pickle. It tastes like a pickle. <laughs> People don't want to sit around and watch you eat it. I took too big a bite. <laughs> but if you're lucky enough to find chorizo verde, you know, when you're a uh, meat counter, you know, go to a uh, Latin grocery store and see if they have it there. Or you can make it at home. You know, just make like a green smoothie, just like you were making a smoothie shake. You know, and then mix it up with some ground sausage. And you can cook you up some uh, green sausage that way. That's it. Thanks for watching. 
you know, we're in Mexico, so go over to Slowpoke Travel, you know, subscribe to our travel channel, you can watch our Mexico videos over there. But thanks for watching anything that we put up. I know it's a challenge, <laughs> but uh, we appreciate it, and we'll see you in the future.